Hello. The purpose of this video demonstration is to show you the features of our monitor only 1553 analyzer tool, BT3 USB Mon, which is a combination of our monitor only 1553 USB hardware interface, the R15 USB Mon, and our intuitive Windows based 1553 acquisition and analysis software, Bus Tools 1553. The main features of this tool that I would like to demonstrate are 1. 1553 bus activity viewer 2. Real-time 1553 data monitoring 3. Sequential or snapshot 1553 data monitoring 4. 1553 data logging and archiving and 5. Electrical waveform scope analysis in order to generate 1553 traffic, I've set up one laptop with an R15-USB interface capable of simulating bus controller, multiple remote terminals and monitor simultaneously. I have set up a very simple 1553 transaction bus list consisting of, of both BC to RT and RT to BC messages. On the BC to RT, I've set up Data word 1 to auto increment from value 1 to 100 at a cycle rate of 5 Hz. For ease of demonstration, I've set up channel 1 only of the dual redundant pair. On a second laptop, I have the BT3-R15-USB monitor only product installed. The two 1553 USB products are connected over the 1553 bus as I already explained, over channel 1 only. You will see the bus comprises of a single transformer coupler with single cables connecting the two 1553 devices. So let's generate some 1553 traffic. Here is the predefined bus list on laptop 1, consisting of BC to RT and RT to BC transfers on RT address 0, sub address 30, each with 32 data words and running at a rate of 5 Hz. Now when I press the activation button to start the bus controller and RT simulation, you will see that the RT0 icon turns green, indicating there's activity but no errors. And as I drill down further to sub-address level, you will see that sub-address 30 is active on both transmit and receive, again with no errors. So now let's turn our attention to the monitor only product loading onto the second laptop. Here I have opened a new bus topology page, which means the tool has no preconception of what 1553 traffic to expect. So now, as I start the bus monitor, immediately you will see the icon for RT0 has turned green, indicating activity, but with no errors. And now, with another mouse click, I drill down to the next layer, which is sub-address level. And here we see sub-address 30 active on both transmit and receive, indicative of BC to RT and RT to BC transfers. Now, as I drill down with one more mouse click, we can see raw data. This page shows the 32 data words associated with the BC to RT transfer. And as we set up on laptop one, the first data word is auto incrementing by one up to a value of 100. So on just three mouse clicks, I've demonstrated a very easy to use bus activity tool, easily moving down to sub address activity, then onto real time 1553 data observation. Now, as I come out of real-time monitoring, I turn my attention to the sequential or snapshot monitor. This shows me in tabular format all I need to know about the messages received on the bus. It shows me the message number, the timestamp of the message in various time formats, whether the transmission was on bus A or bus B. It shows me the message type, 
in this case a BC to RT transfer. It shows me the RT address, sub address and word count. And here we see the 32 data words in hex. It shows me the response time of the RT and the status word value in hex. And also the message length in microseconds. So all I need to know about every message is shown on this page. A very useful tool is to scroll. So here I can scroll and look at data word 1 incrementing by 1 up to a value of 100. One very nice tool within the sequential monitor is the Anki ASCII dump facility. And here I can generate a text file of all this data which can be shared with remote locations. Now if you are interested in specific data words, we can look at Selective Data Watch, which shows me in this case the first data word and is auto incremented. Here I can look at a chart of this data and it shows me the data incrementing up to a value of 100 and then returning. I would now like to show you the data login or archiving capability of the 1553 bus monitor tool. It enables you to record 1553 traffic to a specific file on local memory on your host computer. I will stop the monitor and select Setup Bus Monitor and this shows the dialog box where I can select Record to File where I can give recording a specific file name such that when I restart the monitor data will automatically be recorded to that file. I can select to start and stop recording by setting up triggers and this can be external trigger or it can be data centric on the 1553 bus. The trigger can be a specific bit in a specific word in a specific message. So as I said the options here are very extensive. I can also select what I want to record by filtering. You can filter to specific data, RT address, sub address, word count and transmit or receive. And I can set up advanced filters where I can record only messages with specific 1553 errors. I can now go and look and analyze the archive file that I previously recorded by selecting the BM post analysis option under the analysis button. I can select the specific file that I'm interested in and now view that data in several formats. The first one being the sequential or the snapshot monitor that we've seen previously. Here we see the sequential messages with all the 1553 characteristics that I'm interested in. I can also view the data in what we refer to as the parallel viewer. This comprises four windows where I can set up different messages from the sequence and set up a continuous play so I can view timing issues and latency issues for different messages. I can also view in message viewer where I can look at specific data words and set up continuous play and monitor the data changing. The last feature of the 1553 monitor only tool that I would like to demonstrate is the electrical 1553 waveform scope viewer. For each of the bus A, bus B inputs 
there's a corresponding AC coupled single ended BNC connection to an oscilloscope. It provides a representation of the differential 1553 signal waveform. Here we see on the oscilloscope part of the BC to RT message. Here is the receive command followed by data word 1 of 32. And as you can see, the content of the data is changing as per the bus controller transaction list. I hope that via this video demonstration that I have illustrated the key features of the Abaco Systems monitor only 1553 analyzer product, the BT3 USB Mon. This simple and easy to use tool can easily identify and illustrate 1553 bus activity, drill down easily to raw and converted data, and in parallel even look at electrical 1553 waveform characteristics. The BT3 USB Mon product will be an invaluable aid in numerous avionics engineering applications. Users include R&D and avionics product development, debugging on avionics rigs and sills, debugging at the flight line level providing a useful tool for MRO, maintenance, repair and overhaul, and also in educational applications for avionics teaching and training.